Content warning, this, ho this is a horror game and it's not intended for all audiences. Please visit blacktabgames.com if you need a full list of content warnings. So the Princess also contains flashing images. If this poses a health risk to you, proceed with caution. This game is CPU intensive. You experience performance issues, you can turn off man animations. Nah. Keep it going. Hello everyone. Welcome to the demo for Slay the Princess. From Black Tabby Games. I know them from Scarlet Hollow. A great visual novel horror style one. I really wanted to do a playthrough on it, but it's an awful lot of reading. And as you know, I'm just lexic as fuck, yo. So, we'll see. I've already got it on my wish list. As soon as I've seen uh, Gab play this. I've seen her mess around and I know I wanted to do a video on it right away. Cause. What's just cause, really? So, as I'm not going into it blind, I'm going to go into it with what would be my natural reactions to things going forward first. Okay? Boop! Chapter 1. The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay. Explore. End of the world? What are you talking about? Explore. Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, don't it? Someone else do it? Forget it. I'm not doing this. Have you maybe considered that I'm okay ending the world? Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet! I was wanting to offer Monarch. <laughs> Viva la revolution! Walk towards the cabin. Turn around and leave! Let's go through some of the explore options first. Um. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. Hang on a tick, hang on a tick. How do I put my pointer back on? I don't remember. Is it properties? Capture pointer, capture pointer. What happened? I clicked the wrong one. Capture cursor. There we go. Okay. Look, it's a wee claw. Don't know why that's relevant. I just went to show off. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Alright. So, again, I'm going with my first instincts here, right? It's, it's a video game. That's the spirit. <laughs> Viva la revolution! <laughs> my first instinct is to go for the funny answer, and the narrator agrees. That's the spirit! Let's go stab someone! You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Can I... just two wee seconds, sorry. There we go, I turned off the animated background and it stopped there. Uh, my, my PC stopped screaming at me. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. 
The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. I'm good at those a few things, don't worry. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? It's commanding. Almost as though she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hi! Just checking on you. Yeah, I think I'm here to kill you. You must have the wrong address. Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Just because she's beautiful doesn't mean she's not a threat, dude. Focus on the task. Calm your lines. You aren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Nope. What? No way. Why would you even think that? Yeah, it wasn't a joke. Okay, well, what if you didn't kill me? She makes a compelling point. What if we didn't kill her? What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? Do you see the razor sharpness in her gaze? I don't think she's bluffing. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Sure. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Holy shit, that hurts! Language? Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. We can still turn this around. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here, either. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. The two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. The princess gasps, 
her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would, but I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? There it is again. That razor-sharp look in her eyes and the terrifying conviction in her words. But you don't have the time to worry over such things. Everything goes black and you die. I got the achievement there. The real Slay the Princess starts here. Can't help but notice my cursor is a clawed You're hand. A my so-called hero woods. has a clawed hand. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be... I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this already happened? Okay, no. But I died. What am I doing here? I already slew the princess. Sure, she also killed me. I definitely got her. Why am I here again? Oh, don't worry. I'm glad to slay the princess. She's got it coming. Yep, okay. Definitely going to slay that princess. Yeah, yeah, get it. I'm going to the cabin. Screw this. I'm getting the hell out of here. Um... I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. There's nothing we can do to stop her. She's going to kill us again. Yes. Uh, is there another one of us in here? If you go to the cabin, you might as well just throw yourself at her feet and beg for mercy. You are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff that pathetic little voice to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Yeah, yeah, get it. Born to the cabin. I have one last one for you. She will lie, she will cheat. It's not her lies that'll stop us. I must admit, I'm a little worried about going back in there. I don't want to be as much of a downer as my new roommate, but we were definitely outclassed last time. She seems more demon than princess. Ignore them. They don't know what they're talking about. She's just a princess. Don't get all in your head about it. So here's the really cool thing, because obviously it's... I'm repeating it, but it's different. The interior of the cabin is larger than it should be. The only item of furniture is a plain wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You, you take the blade from the table. It'd be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an old wooden staircase. The steps are wide and deep. The air seeping up from below is heavy and oppressive, with an odd, eggy stink to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? It's somehow even fiercer than it was before. Of course it is. Don't let it intimidate you. You carefully make your way down the stairs. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, a large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Is it just me, or is she bigger than last time? It looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. I told you. It's pointless. I was wondering when I might have company. Free me from my bindings. Hang on, hang on. I think me increasing the text size has. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go back. It's not actually that bad to read anyway. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Scarlet Hollow again. Very good game. And that's the end of this playthrough. So we need to go back to the start. I really like this game. It's so cool. Um, time. I'll do one more run. I'll make it take a good wee half an hour, I think. The hero of the princess. path in the woods, and at the end of the... You're here to slay her. 
Okay, so in this one, I'm just going to like flat out refuse because it's the sensible thing to do to not listen to someone calling himself a narrator. Um, forget it. I'm not doing this. Serious? No, you have to do it. Look, I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to her. She's as bad as you say. I say she is, and maybe I'll slay her. I'm not committing anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But, a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Then each and every one of us is doomed. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh my god, pardon me, sorry. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. No. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotising. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. Ooh. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Good. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Again, just because beautiful doesn't mean not a threat. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Sure. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. If there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? Go and check upstairs. Maybe the key is still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe we can at least find something to break you free. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? 
easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you, the clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. I hate that I'm actually, like, like genuinely, my, my heart's kind of, like, going for this, you know? You won't like what happens if you do that. Free her. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgement, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Because look, I'm some kind of monster. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She clutches the wound, softly smiling as her gaze meets yours. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Close, she's not. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Shouldn't we, like, tie that up? No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body... Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? Stop that. Oh, I thought this was all a little too easy. Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges. Wait, she dodges? Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. This is so cool. <laughs> resist! The blade! Move the blade! I'm sorry. No. I can see you're doing your best to resist what's happening to you. I'll try and make this quick. She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. You feel her claws on your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sinew with ease. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness dress stained red as your blood seeps into the fabric. When she manages to escape from this place and bring ruin to the world, know that it was all your fault. Sure, I mean, but it's the choices I made, isn't it? It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry. Everything goes dark. And you die. Ah, it's so fucking cool! On a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay, no. Oh, you bastard. You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time, you and I. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. We can help her. We just have to find a way. Oh. Is there another one of us in here? Help her? Need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is? I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. Sure, and all of us in here definitely believe you. Just stay focused on the task at hand. Yep, definitely going you to slay that princess. I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. I 
have one last warning for you. She will lie. She will... Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Did you just say the word wink out loud? <laughs> no, I didn't. Wink. No, I didn't. Wink. Just ignore this clown. <laughs> <The princess. laughs> okay. Yes. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely empty. The air stale and musty, the floor and walls covered in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. The door to the basement creaks open revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient Is my world. corpse going to be down there this time? The princess really lives here, slaying. Her voice carries softly up the stairs. Hello? Is You're playing a dangerous game by coming. It's even more hypnotizing than before. Is it more hypnotizing than before? Or is that just what we want it to be? I think we're in love. For everyone's sake, you're not in love. <laughs> just don't let her charm you. It's all part of the manipulation. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's still so beautiful. And she has both of her arms again. Did everything we just went through actually happen? It must have, because she's different. Can't you tell? Yeah, she is. You. I remember you. You're going to help me get out of here, right? Yeah, and the basement slams. Oh, this game is so cool! Yeah, I'm definitely going to get this ASAP when it comes out. Good job, you lot, because... Damn! Just fucking damn, bro. Controls. It's just a click, isn't it? Oh, accessibility. Ah, right, okay, so let's bother it. Well, okay, sure. Oh, that's so cool! There's an ending that, like, you seen it in the credits there. Gab Smolder's name came up. Um, she's generally one of my favourite uh, YouTuber, uh, YouTubers. And, uh, she got an ending where basically just walk forward and cold blood the princess without saying a word. So, and I ended up with something different trying to follow that because I kind of wanted to show off the ending you get. Well, that's pretty cosmic and, you know, sort of scary in an entropic kind of way. And then the chapter two that comes out from that is... Oh, she's actually really cute. <laughs> she's like a weird cute skeleton, dude. I quite like that. So, oh, whatever. It's going to be linked in the description. This is obviously the free demo. There's Tons of endings you can get with the looks of it, tons of variations of the dialogue and whatever have you. If you want to play around yourself, again, it's free on Steam. Good luck, take it easy.